if you ever need to measure a small resistance, it's always important to know the resistance of your probes themselves. So touch the probes together and see what your meter reads. In this instance, it reads about 0.3 ohms, which is the resistance of the wire of the probes themselves. When you're measuring a 22 ohm resistor, this is mark 22 and then the omega. When looking at the ranges, this meter has the ranges of 200, 2K, 20K, 200K, 2 mega ohms, and 20 mega ohms. You always want to measure in whatever range is higher than what you're expecting. So if when measuring a 22 ohm resistor, you'd want to use the 200 ohm scale. So measuring 200 ohms and you read 22.2. You can also read it in the 2K scale if you want to. However, when you do that, you're going to see 0 0.022 because you're seeing 0 0.022 kilo ohms, not ohms. It's the same measurement, but it's measured on a different scale. Next, we're going to measure a 1.6K resistor. So it's marked 1K6, the K showing the decimal point, telling you that it's a 1,600 ohm resistor. Uh, it's the same as a you can express it either way. If you measure it on the 200 scale, like we were on before, uh, it's going to read over limit. It's going to show a 1 on the left side. Now that 1 there, that means that it's over the range. It does not mean that it's 1 ohm or 1 kilo ohm. It means that your meter can't actually read this. Different meters will show this differently. Uh, it's not showing 0, like if you touch the probes together. It's showing over limit. Uh, so if you click up to the 2K scale, and measure again, you'll see 1.564, just about right. A 3K resistor, just marked 3K, 3,000 ohms. If you measure that on the 2K scale, it's going to read over limit. It's going to have the 1 on the left side there. Whereas if you just click it up to 20K, it'll read 2.96. So this is a potentiometer. Uh, you'll measure the outside lugs. This is a 100K uh, lo logarithmic pot. So it's marked A100K uh, to differentiate it from a linear pot. You can measure it on top like there, or you can measure the solder lugs themselves. Make sure you measure uh, on the same deck. That's a stereo pot shown. The important thing to remember about all of this is you need to know how ranges work. Always measure in the range that's one higher than what you're expecting to measure and measure if you're measuring something very small you need to know what your resistance of your cables are the other important thing to remember is you need to know is if you have a manually ranging meter how it's displaying that it's over its range as the one shown in this video it's a one on the left side of the screen and when you see that one that does not mean that it's one ohm or one k it means it's over limit